My name is Lisa Quinn. I'm 39 years old. I live in Springdale, Arkansas, and I have metastatic breast cancer. One evening in July in 2015, my husband and I were sitting out on our back patio enjoying a nice summer evening. Our kids were asleep already, and I had some stabbing pains in my right breast. Thought it was strange, just kind of decided to feel around a little bit, and I felt, felt a little hard knot up underneath my right breast that I hadn't noticed before. So the next morning at eight o'clock, as soon as my gynecologist's office opened, I was calling. That day, went in and had my first mammogram. I was only 36 years old and had an ultrasound. And I was told right then and there by a doctor that looked at my ultrasound that she thought I had cancer. After having a breast MRI and finding out I had seven tumors in my right breast, and then going on to have a PET scan, I found out that my cancer had spread to my bones in five places. When I found out that I was stage four de novo, or from the start, I was shocked, obviously. I was 36. I didn't know anyone in my family that had had breast cancer. I thought I was too young to have a diagnosis like this. I have two young children. I was very depressed. I lost a lot of weight in a very short amount of time. I wasn't eating. I spent my days crying. I also got on social media and met a lot of women through Facebook that have my diagnosis, and that helped a lot to see people living their life. Some women who had been living with this disease for a lot longer than the three-year median life expectancy, and some that haven't made it to three years. I have one friend who's been living for 20 years with this disease. She's not in the norm, of course. Seeing women like that give me hope. I decided that I didn't want to live my life upset all the time and depressed and worried and not living. I decided that it wouldn't make a difference in the day that I die. That day is going to be what it is and that I might as well be happy and do all that I can while I can. Try to be a good mother, raise money for research, and be an advocate for those of us with stage four breast cancer. My cancer spread to my liver about a year ago. Several treatments did not do anything to help. About four and a half months ago, I was put on a PARP inhibitor, and it is the first drug that has made a difference. Two months after I started Lymparza, I had a PET scan, and the breast cancer that spread to my liver is less active and has shrunk in size. So it was very exciting and I'm very hopeful that it will continue to work hopefully for a long long time this could be my drug this could be my miracle drug it's possible I pray that that's that's what happens I thought when I got this stage 4 diagnosis that it would be much worse than it has been for me I know a lot of people that have not been as lucky as I have as far as that goes Side effects are not really what affects my quality of life. It's the thoughts that go through my head and the worry that I have for my children. And how long do I get with them? How many birthdays do I get to see? That affects me way more than side effects from medicine. Hope is something all cancer patients think about and have to find. What I hope for the most, I guess, is that more money will be directed towards research than is right now for stage four cancer. I have to know when my time is up that I have done everything I can to raise money. We need better treatments to keep us alive longer and give us a better quality of life.